This is a 1965 RCA Victor model 6082N3 using the CTC 20-A chassis. I'm going to give a demonstration of this television in operation. taking this tropical storm a lot more seriously. We fly them all down and secure them. Glenn Spiritus began his storm prep 24 hours ago. It's very hard to predict where a storm is going to land, obviously, but uh, obviously precaution uh, is the best uh, policy to take. cowboy or a chimp projectile vomiting onto a German tourist. <laughs> it's a parrot riding a wiener dog dressed as a cowboy. A parrot riding a wiener dog dressed like a cowboy. Let's let's see if she's right. <laughs> to get the Huskies within one. They need an extra point to tie it and send it to overtime, and it's blocked. BYU extends the nation's longest win streak to 12. Vote for this week's Pontiac game-changing performance beginning tomorrow morning at 9 on ESPN.com. Terry? 
second and 13, ball loose, but Ole Miss able to fall on it. Brandon. <laughs> We were the best. We were the favorites. And then uh, somebody else pulled me aside and said, oh, by the way, um, we're about to give $8 million to USC to build a program just like yours. We're hoping you can help them get it off the ground. <laughs> and then Steve came along and said, they said, what? Oh, God. <laughs> and, and to quote a famous man, I will fix this. And he did. Steve has been an incredible partner. And we have a great relationship, personal and professional. Uh, and he has certainly been point man in getting a gaming asset to help teach millions of kids. On our all new televisions, the Fairport Village Inn has a full menu to choose from for the whole family chicken French, seafood, prime rib, and much more. Come join the fun with your hosts, Wayne, Patty, and Ken Beckwith. The Fairport Village Inn. What? And our news. It's groundbreaking, unearths a ringing sense of pride in the historic park. Because I can't think of a better use for this property than to be dedicated as a cemetery for our veterans, the veterans of our great nation. Local state lawmakers worked for years to pass legislation that transferred ownership of the proposed cemetery property from the state to the county. Senator Michael Nazolio recently secured $1 million to get the Simpson Veterans Memorial Cemetery underway. There are reports the federal government is stepping in to take over mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which together hold or 